Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Joy of Sticks. Stickhead here with your Atari ST gaming channel and today we bring you another game in the running theme because uh, I don't know if you didn't catch my last video you might not know that I am doing Movember uh, this month which is why as you can see it looks like I've been drinking from a dirty cup. <laughs> it is a moustache I promise in this light it doesn't look so great. It doesn't look so great. I'll pop a photo on so you can see what it really looks like. Uh, yeah, not not the best moustache maybe, but I'm working on it. How many days have I got? I think I've got eight days left to try and get something proper on that upper lip. As you can see, I kind of went for the uh, for the Hogan there. Mm, yeah, jewelry's still out. Jewelry's still out. I tell you what though, it's as itchy as fuck. <laughs> I can't imagine it will last very long into December. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, so the whole idea behind this is um, doing it for November. My focus for this month is men's mental health. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's a bit of a shit show out there at the moment, isn't it? And it's having a really negative effect on lots of people, lots of people. Um, so I would direct your attention over to the uh, Movember website. They've got some absolutely fantastic advice um, about well, suicide prevention, um, amongst other things, you know promoting positive mental health I would recommend you go and have a look at it all the shocking thing is we lose 60 men every single hour worldwide to suicide and I think that's just a ridiculous situation for us to be in you know call ourselves a civilized society and and we're losing people in such a tragic way you know and all of those deaths are preventable so Movember are working really hard to try and prevent some of them which is brilliant um, what I will uh, point you towards is a, the part of the website um, that helps you to look out for the people around you basically um, there's some really great advice on how to check in with people and I know as men we're not always great at talking about emotions and feelings and the deep stuff you know quite happy to talk about video games or the football or whatever but when it comes to that other stuff maybe not so much so there are some really great pointers in what to look out for and if you're worried about somebody, what you can do about it. So there'll be a link in the description below for you to follow if you are worried about anybody in your life at this particularly difficult time right now. Um, I'll also leave a link down below to my Mo Space, which is a place you can go to to donate if if you think you know if you think it's a worthy cause too. Um, any donations you make there would be brilliant. Um, you know, and I understand that finances are really tight at the minute because of the lockdown and everything. So, you know, don't worry about donating if you can't. But, you know, any kind of share or um, retweet or that kind of thing is going to be really beneficial, too. So thank you very much for that. All right. OK. <laughs> um, in terms of my move, you know, because um, because we lose 60 men an hour, um, Movember have set up this thing where you can run 60 kilometers during the month uh, so I'm doing all right there I've done uh, 49 kilometers so far I managed to get out for a run this morning uh, to take me up to 49 so I've got 11 kilometers to go in the eight days that are remaining so hopefully I should be all right if I get out for a midweek run and then a run at the end of the week I, I should be good I should make it all right enough about that anyway so yeah this month I have been playing lots of games uh, to do with running we played load runner last time uh, this time we're going to be playing do run run uh, now it's a do run run was a sequel as far as I'm aware to a game called Mr. Do um, by a company called Universal you can see it on the screen there uh, and funnily enough uh, Mr. Do was one of the very first arcades to be released as a conversion kit by Taito funnily enough um, you could just slot it into an old cab to change the game which I'm sure arcade operators were really really um, happy with um, and Do Run Run is very much an update of the original's gameplay there's a few extra mechanics in there kind of borrowed from other games really um, but we'll come on to those in a bit but yeah the Do Run Run arcade came out in 1984 and the ST version didn't come out until way later in 1990 so it's one of those arcade conversions we had to wait a long time for and I'd imagine in the press it was very much a what what what's this old game <laughs> why are they converting this to the ST um, as, as as was often the case 
but yeah basically you you know you get points you complete screens you you have to eat all the dots or defeat all the monsters you know so far pretty standard stuff um but you in this game in do run run you can kind of surround uh the dots in like a kicks do you say kicks or quicks? What's that arcade game? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's probably the first time I've ever said it out loud. Um, you, you surround it in a line. Um, and if you surround fruit uh, dots in a line, they turn into fruit, which are worth more points. And then you can surround the fruit again to get a better fruit. I think it goes something like, does it start as cherries, then lemons? I can't remember. Yeah, anyway. And also you've got this kind of power ball that you chuck at enemies to defeat them. Uh, and eating the dots and fruit kind of replenishes that so you can use it again. Um, yeah, so as I say, the SD version came out in 1990 and was converted by ElectroCoin, which is bizarre, really, because I've always known them as like amusement company. Uh, they, you know, they do the one arm bandits and, and machines like that. And I think they're still going today, in fact. Um, but yeah, during the late 80s, they tried to enter the video game space um, but I don't think they were too successful. It didn't seem to last very long anyway. Um, and there's not much from them on the ST. There's this and Time Soldier, which I've I've never played, which is another quite obscure Japanese arcade, I think. Um, but anyway, should we have a go? Should we see what it's like? Let's. Now, I think I might have played this back in the day a little bit. A friend of mine really liked it, but um, I don't remember playing it so much. Um, so yeah, I haven't played it in a long, long time. So let's just give it a go and see what happens. Got absolutely munted there by a fireball, which I was not expecting. Right, what I'm going to try and do is... Um, I was going to try and capture all of these dots in a line and, and get those juicy power-ups going. But I couldn't quite uh, get them all. So we'll do it this way instead. We get a nice R here, yeah. Nice. Okay, so here's some enemies. Let's try and whack those. Oh no, I've got the other guy. Well, oh, that sucks. Okay, let's eat some fruit and get the power ball back. There we go. So I think I've got to... Oh, I think I've got to defeat these guys. Oh, I killed one of them. All right, we've got apples next. Apples next. I wonder if there's some kind of time, li time limit going on here. That was a bit foolish, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know, I think once you start climbing a ramp there, you can't you can't turn around, it seems. Well, these guys are different now. These guys seem a bit quicker. I wonder why. Is that because I'm taking too long to complete the to complete the level, maybe? Now, I know you can collapse these uh, boulders to mush your enemies as well. So let's do that. Right, all the enemies have gone. Time to move on. All right, not a, not a massively successful first round there, I have to say. And that, that's pretty pathetic. <laughs> All right, let's go around this way. Because what I was thinking when I first started that first round was just go around the edge, right? Just go all the way around the edge. And then look at that, juicy points. All right, let's get the letter. That's got to be good, right? Would it get him? Would it get him? Yes, I got the T. Did I get the T? I think so. The T above there has now gone yellow. See, I always think when I come to a game that I'm not familiar with, I must be really frustrating people who know this game well. <laughs> they must be sitting there thinking, oh, what is he doing? But uh, if you do have any tips, if you are a do-run-run run aficionado, I probably shouldn't be running away from that guy. Um, or maybe I should have. Maybe I should have run away and got all the fruit. There seems to be a bit of a balancing act here. Oh, hello. Yeah, that wasn't good. I painted myself into a corner there. There seems to be a bit of a balancing act between getting the line going, so you upgrade your juicy points. Um, oh, this is an interesting way to put your name in, isn't it? And collecting stuff and defeating monsters. I don't know, I'm putting in my old, old initials now, isn't that? That's weird. <laughs> I normally put head in, don't I? Because I am stickhead after all. So that was <laughs> a bit of a blast from the past there, the initials I used to use. Top of the table. Can't be bad. All right, let's give it another go. Now we kind of know what's going on. 
I'm gonna blast these guys. Oh no! I keep thinking the power ball will like power through and get more than one guy. But it won't, by the looks of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright, collision detection's um very tight. It's not gonna let you scoot by the enemies like that. Alright, let's cut in here, let's cut in. I'm not gonna get as many dots inside our line. I'm gonna try and collect. Yeah, there we go. Okay, collect and draw a line. Let's get these guys. <gasps> no! Ah, oh, I did it again, didn't I? Just thinking it would hit both of them. It only hits one. Wow, that was uh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay. Perhaps it was beginner's luck that I got as far as I did last time. All right, there we go. So I can use this kind of ramp to, as they're climbing up and down the ramp, it really slows them down. I'm gonna get that guy. I got my power ball back, so let's get him. All right, now I'm gonna get some nice apples. Let's get the apples. Right, I wanna go up here for now, because these guys are getting pretty, uh, pretty close. Now there's only two of them, it's much much more manageable. Right, we've got some nice lemons, and there's a tea up there, so let's go and see if we can get the tea. Oh no! So I shot him, but he turned into a fireball as I was shooting him. I don't know if he automatically turns into a fireball when you shoot him. Let's find out. Nope. All right, I'm getting lemons, because points, right? Let's see if we can keep this guy alive. Oh, he's turned into a, one of those spiky things. Is he a bit quicker than the other guy was, maybe? But here we go, we can get some nice apples again. And a tea. Oh, I wonder if I can get these guys caught under the log. No, that's not going to do it. Oh, it is. It got a couple of them. Okay, here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, let's kill him. Oh, no, those guys don't count as enemies um, that you have to clear. Okay. Wait for him to come down. That gives me a bit of space over here. Watch out, that snaky thing doesn't turn into a, um, a fireball again. Right, this is what I wanted to do. Get the whole screen. Look at that. Juicy cherries. Right, a bit worried about this bit now. Right, let's get... No, no, okay. Whoa! Hmm. It's funny. It, the action is quite slow-paced, but you find yourself stuck quite quickly really. Right, let's whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I get killed by that? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if the log got me or the enemy. Okay, did I do better? Did I I did worse, didn't I? Oh my word, I did worse. How was that even possible? What am I doing? I d I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just walking into enemies. I think it's because this line mechanic, it makes me I'm, I'm kind of concentrating on it, and I, perhaps I should. I shouldn't. I should concentrate on staying alive. Probably the most important thing is to stay alive, really, isn't it? Um, lives being the most valuable commodity at the minute. Oh, let's let's set that off. See if we can't. Um, no. Okay. Oh, I might be able to do it now. Though you guys come down here. Come down here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I'm terrible at this game. Yeah, that's that's not surprising though, really, is it? It's not. Okay, right, this time I'm going to concentrate on staying alive. That's objective number one. Prime directive, stay alive. He says, this is, I was up on the next level, surely. Okay, right, let's give these the little... Uh, Right, you've gone up there, that's fine. You come down here and I'll... Oh, a nice reflected shot there. Red Warrior has reflective shot. Whoa, the fireball! Did you see the dodge? Get lost, ducky! Oh my days, this duck. Okay, we got a nice section covered there. Even though I wasn't really trying. These, I tell you what, these guys don't come down. They really hound you, look. I mean, it's not exactly complicated AI or anything, but get in there. Oh no, the fight. 
So he turns into a fireball and then turns back into a snake. Oh my days. Alright, one enemy left. Let's just collect stuff. Let's get some points now. Right, you can get lost. Get some nice apples. Don't want to kill him. Don't want to kill him. Oh, I did kill him. <laughs> Alright, okay, next level. Remember, survival is key. Oh dear. Right, you're fireballing. I haven't got a power ball left. Look at the way they go across the top. That's clever. Oh, I nearly got the X. The X killed me. The X killed me. What? <laughs> I didn't expect the X to kill me. Oh dear. All right. So yeah, quite a challenging game, this one. Oh, I'm doing my old name again. Yeah, come on. Let's just... We'll go in that way now. How did I get such a high score on my first go? And then got nothing from then on. Unbelievable. Right, I'm going to have one more go to beat 24,000. Oh. Just feel ashamed of myself. Right, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. My line completely disappeared. Right, watch the enemy behaviour. Oh, they're not doing it now. Before, when they were above me, they were just tracking me left and right. I was thinking they'll come down, I'll fool them into coming down, and then I'll give them the old drop the shoulder, <laughs> drop the left shoulder, go right, right? Oh, that was terrible. But uh, no, they were tracking me really well. Right, come on. No, all right, I'm going this way. These guys, I tell you what. Now I need some fruit and dots. All right, let's get them. Let's get them. Take it. Yes. Get in. All right, I'm zapping you. I'm fed up with these enemies now. All right, dots. Get my power ball back. So I've noticed that fruit get your power ball back a lot quicker. So that's good. No. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Right, you're staying alive now. No, you're not. I'm not. No! Oh, it came right out the top! <laughs> I guess that was predictable because that's where the letter is, isn't it? Oh, I still finished the level though. Alright. Pastures new. Get lost, ducky. Ducky snake, whatever you are. Get up there. I tell you what. This game would be a lot easier if you powerball could take out multiple enemies. Right, let's see if we can start taking some out now, because we've got some fruit, which gets the old power ball back nice and quick. Right, don't get killed by the R this time. Oh, don't get killed by the R! He was literally milliseconds away from being squashed by the log. Did I beat the score? Did I beat the score? Nowhere near. How did I get such a high score on my first go? Absolutely bizarre. All right, well, it's a classic arcade game, and that said, I've not played the original arcade, but it seems like a decent conversion of it, but challenging, challenging. But it does make me want to play it some more and get to grips with it, because, you know, that was terrible. I can't get much worse, right? <laughs> but I did find some uh, magazine reviews of this one. So I had to dig into some foreign language magazines again, this time a couple of German magazines. Um, ASM gave it 6 out of 10, that's for Spielerblauf, which I think means gameplay or that kind of thing. Any uh, German viewers can uh, help me on that one. Um, but they say, man is this thing old, and <laughs> that's so true. Um, it came out in 1984, didn't it, the original arcade, and the ST version is 1990, so six years, six years. Uh, and they say it's a funny game of skill where the player determines the level of risk to get the highest possible score. Okay, makes sense. But despite of everything, the age of the game is noticeable. And I suppose they're probably right. What, what were people playing in 1990? I mean, it certainly wasn't, didn't, it wasn't games like this, was it really? Um, but, you know, in the, in the light of 2020, um, this is quite a joy, an enjoyable little game, really. Uh, and they say, as a long-term investment, this, this game is definitely not an option. So I guess what they're trying to say is the longevity of the game isn't quite there. 
but then I don't know because the difficulty of it the challenge of it I could imagine it would take a long time to master um, but yeah no video games are an investment kids <laughs> um, okay then power play magazine they gave it 45 percent oof there's no way it's that bad oh my word what do they say mr do what's new um, <laughs> it talks about the similarities between the, the name of the game and the hit song for some reason like that's somehow enlightening yeah whatever and uh, they say it's a bit like pac-man you can see that comparison definitely um, and they say it's a translation of the arcade, but with worse graphics and sound. That's interesting. I need to go and have a look at the arcade original and see how it compares. Um, and the closing statement here says, Thank God the game doesn't play as badly as it looks. Ouch. I didn't think it looked that bad, did it? I mean, it, it wasn't exactly a looker, but I don't know. Not that bad, but certainly worth more than 45% anyway. All right, over to uh, CVG then. They gave it a 74%. I'd say that was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, they moan about how hard it is. <laughs> but it was very challenging. But I don't know, as I was playing it, it didn't feel unfair. It felt like I could get to grips with it and improve anyway. Uh, the graphics, it says, uh, contrary to what Powerplay said, the, the graphics are smaller than the arcade, but perfectly formed. That's interesting. Uh, the gameplay is spot on, and that's where Do Run Run really shines. Uh, they say it's a barrel of laughs and a damn good bargain to boot, but be warned it's one tough cookie. That seems like a more kind of balanced review, a bit more of a fairer representation of what we've got on offer here. Um, I don't know how much it was, but if they're saying a bargain, I would imagine it wasn't a, a big full price game. So, yeah, well, there you go, guys. That was Do Run Run. I actually quite enjoy it, and I think I'll be coming back to it to try and uh, get a bit, bit bit better at the game. I always like these kind of single screen arcade games, you know, big bubble bubble fan, always liked, liked a bit of Pac-Man um, and this game is definitely in the same ilk so I'll, I'll be giving it another go for sure. Uh, so yeah, let me know, have you played Do Run Run? What do you think of it? Have you played the arcade? How does it compare? Have you played any other versions? Uh, how do they compare? Um, am I getting something horrifically wrong with the strategy of the game? pretty sure I am. Uh, let me know in the comments below. It's always great to hear from you guys and uh, do take care. Thanks for watching.